I was actually born with a rare condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, which is a long and complicated mixture of words that means I had brittle bones. When I was about three or four, the physical therapist recommended aqua therapy. I have two brothers and they decided to join the swim team. And I remember thinking to myself, I wanna be over there with them. I don't wanna be in the baby pool anymore. I think I realized that I was really good at swimming when I was at my very first Paralympic swim meet. And I remember seeing all the swimmers on deck and they were all like me. Every broken bone, every setback has made me a stronger person. And it's made me who I am today. Because I don't think without those experiences and without facing those hardships that I would understand and appreciate what I get to go and do every day as much as I do. When something really traumatic happens to you, I think you can just do the best that you can. I feel like I always have a plan in place when I have a fracture of, okay, I have a day or two and I can be upset about this. I can be angry about this. It's not always positivity and easy, but after that, I have to let it go and not allow my emotions to overcome me. I have to find a way forward. I got into the sport when I was eight years old. My parents and I were watching TV and a contest came on and uh, I just fell in love with BMX. It was incredible to me that they looked like a family out there even though they were competing against each other. I was always worried that there was somebody else out there that, you know, was better. I don't think I'd ever realize that I was great at the sport. I just know that I love the sport unconditionally. Since I was 12 years old, I went to my first international women's contest and I got second. At that point, I was like, I'm gonna put my heart and my soul into the sport and, you know, see what works and, you know, hopefully make a career out of it. But if not, then at least I tried. I hadn't really met any women riders and, you know, I was getting a lot of crap from the guys that were riding and, and all that stuff. The reason that I'm still riding and, and the reason that, you know, I'm, I'm where I am today is because I was able to take a step back from competing and I was able to figure out why I love the sport. Dealing with the hate comments and, and the, the negative response that people get, I didn't handle it well at first. It made me upset because I, I do read all the comments. You know, if it wasn't for haters, I would have no, no purpose to like try to ride better, to you know, prove them wrong. So, you know, you are my motivation. Ever since I was little, I've wanted to be a professional rock climber, so I'm definitely living my dream. I was always going on outdoor trips with my family and was always trying to do the hardest thing and push myself and my sport, and I was breaking records for my age uh, along the way. Being such a short person has always been a challenge for rock climbing, but I think it actually has made me a much stronger climber because of it, because I've had to adapt and find ways to just be stronger overall. There's definitely been moments where I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue to be a rock climber, but every time I've just taken a step back and realized how much I do enjoy the sport and how I wouldn't want to live in a world where I couldn't do it. For me, it really is just a passion and that's where I can truly express myself. That's always gotten me past those feelings and reminded me that I do it because I love it. I got started diving when I was seven years old because my older brother was a diver. He's always been my greatest inspiration and I've always wanted to follow along in his footsteps. But I think the breaking moment for me when I really learned that I was gonna be great at it was when I was 13 years old and I won my first senior national competition against many other Olympians, college athletes, and people much older than me. When I was in middle school, I considered quitting diving because of the fear of learning new dives and taking it to that next level. Everyone else around me saw all the potential that I could do, but I didn't believe it or see it in myself. I think that overcoming these challenges has really taught me many valuable lessons and been able to help me grow as a diver and athlete. Swimming gave me the confidence as a young girl with this rare disease to be able to go out and do anything that she set her mind to. I would not know who I was without sports and, and being on a big stage and, and you know having the friends and being under the pressure. I want people to stop saying to young girls that their dreams are unachievable or that they can't accomplish this because they're a girl. I believe that every person has the right to dream big and know that if you continue to work hard and push for it, that you can do anything that you set your mind to. Something that I want people to stop saying to young girls is that they'll be strong when they're older because they are strong now. You are strong now. Enjoy that strength that you have and 
know that you could do anything. Stop putting a label on young girls and their abilities. Don't make them feel limited. Empower them to go out and be all these different things. Show them their potential. Don't limit their potential.